Defender Sean Lay has been digging into this all day, and Sean, you're finding these officers could face some real consequences for this. A Detroit cop has suspended another on medical leave after apparently fleeing the scene of a shooting that unfolded right in front of them. You know, police officers, we cruise around, and I said, excuse me. Uh, first of all, that video quality was trash because it looked like somebody recorded that thing with a Tamagotchi. It was more guns. If you can look at it again, it was more guns like that inside of the car. And I ain't never seen nothing like that besides on army movies. So at that moment, I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Send me away. Who you think I am? Uh, uh, Denzel Washington on, on, on Glory? Huh? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, you think it's saving Private Ryan? Oh, no. I'm trying to save my own ass. Uh, when he, we pulled it out, he started shooting. He said... I said, oh, I think I'm on a uh, uh, full metal jacket. He said, show me your war face, soldier. I said, uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, and if I could do it all over again, the only thing I do different is get the out of there faster. And you would have did the same thing. I got to go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's about... <laughs>
I'll leave on the lights. You can crash my party anytime. Although he was widely condemned by the industry back in the spring, Morgan Wallen had emerged from this scandal to become the best-selling artist of the year so far, according to Rolling Stone magazine. A group of thieves with expensive tastes hit a store in Beverly Grove. Take a look. Six people, all wearing masks, they burst into the store in Melrose Place. The suspects then took off running down the street before jumping into a car and getting away. Now, I try not to judge people. I don't like to do that. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. But as soon as they came in, I had a bad vibe because I looked at them and none of them had on bags. So they just started grabbing and my other co-worker, he wanted to be the employee of the month or whatever the hell he was doing. And he was doing a good job. He was holding them. He was holding them harder. Uh, uh, he was holding them like a bladder full of piss in rush hour traffic. I'm telling you, he was doing a good ass job. So the dude got away from him and did some type of James Brown spin move. And he say, hey. And he got out the door, right? So my other, my, my, my manager, he like, run, go get him, go get him, go get him. And I said, hold up, wait a minute, send me back. The last thing I ran, sir, was out of breath. So I wasn't gonna be the one to go get him. The problem is, they came for the bags, they got the bags, and they left with the bags. So you can leave me the hell alone after that. So uh, I know I'm fired, I know I'm fired. What? I think. <laughs> <laughs> and it is community in Florida is picking a fight with the Postal Service over a carrier they say refuses to deliver their mail. I just don't see why he just can't give us our damn mail. That's all I want. He, he, he like he got to touch our naked asses out here every day just to give us a piece of paper. You know, and I used to wear clothes. I did. But you, don't get me wrong. I, I'll f up a good pair of pants. I will. One time I rubbed a hole through a pair of jeans. And I look down at myself, I say, hold up, wait a minute, something right. My thighs are now smoother than a dolphin's forehead, you know? So he ain't really give, he ain't gotta give everybody else that mail, just give me mine, cause I'ma still be out there naked and all, but I still just want him to understand, ain't nothing gonna be hanging on me but my stomach. And when he see that, he go, oh, I, I got a little thing, and it, you know, it, it go inside me like a little turtle head. So it hides, everything gonna be all right. I don't just, can we just get our mail? That's it. That's all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some cooler temperatures. Calvin, this one stinks. Imagine yourself in this scenario. Number one, someone takes a poop on your driveway. And number two, you have to clean it up yourself. Now, that surprised the hell out of me because I didn't know what the hell was going on. It's a normal day for me. I drive up in my driveway and all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, I'm like a blind dude at a buffet. I can smell it, but I couldn't see nothing. So I just stepped out the car and I said, Phew! I slipped in it. I said, <laughs> now I'm on the floor looking goofy, like <laughs> gorse, you know? So now I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Somebody didn't blew all the ass mud all over my driveway. Now we got to sit here and, and, and rename the whole street. We call it uh, 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 Bloated Booty Boulevard uh, or Loose Booty Lane, Tur Turnaround. Hell, uh, number two avenue. I, I would call him full of shit, but I can't do that no more either because he didn't empty himself all over my driveway. Look at this. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on Local 23. Get out more information about this, but what you're looking at now is video sent in by the residents here of the car just smashing in to this home. It happened around midnight. Listen to what the homeowner has to say. Me and my wife sitting down. We, we watching TV, and it's a good little movie coming on. It's a musical. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but they say uh, 525,000 sucking midgets and uh, all of a sudden boom 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 bam uh my wife get punched in the face by a car coming through the window and i said hold up wait a minute something ain't right i don't even hit my own wife that goddamn hard you know so i'm checking on her. i'm saying baby you got you all right she dazed and confused she don't know what's going on and there's so much smoke and coughing going on it's like a like a uh like a snoop dog party in there and i'm mad and I want to open up that door and I don't want to let these lines loose. I want to, you know, and, and when I opened up the door, it was an old lady. So 
I'm going I'm going to be respectful. I say, "Ma'am, oh my god." She said, "Yes." I say, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And she I, I see that she had a, like a little Jack Daniels bottle over there. I knew what was going on, so I couldn't do nothing about it. I stepped over my wife and sit back down and, and finished the rest of my movie. <laughs> Outrageous what's going on out here. Okay, too far. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>